So here's how interest rates affect not only your monthly payment, but also the market as a whole. Interest rates are all about affordability to the borrower. Most people, when they go to buy a house, they're not only looking at the price that they're paying for the home, but also their monthly payment. And by the way, most of your monthly payment is made up by interest. If most of your monthly payment is made up by interest, then that increase in any interest payments that you have to pay is gonna increase your monthly payment. And so therefore, people look at their budget that they have every single month, and they've allotted a specific amount to what we call shelter or housing. In that category, which is typically around 30 to 38% of most people's budget, they've determined what they can actually afford. If interest rates continue to climb in the market, then that actually causes home buyers not to be able to purchase as much as either they would like to or have to choose other properties that might fit into what they can afford. So what does this do for the market as a whole? Well, the market as a whole is going to respond with the affordability that others have towards the products that are available on the market. In this case, the affordability is for houses. And if house prices are escalating, but then interest rates also escalate, Typically, one could hypothesize that as affordability decreases or people's ability to afford as much decreases, that the actual prices of the homes will have to drop in order for sellers to sell to those buyers who are willing and then able to buy their houses. So how does this affect your monthly payment? As interest rates continue to rise, your monthly payment will go up if you are looking at the same property, same price, interest rates higher, you're gonna pay more. How does it affect the market? As interest rates rise, it's likely possible unless supply and demand are significantly out of balance with low supply and high demand, that prices will again start to cool in order to compensate for those high interest rates. So what should I do? Should I just not buy a house if the interest rates are higher than what I want? Well, here's something to consider. Interest rates over history have fluctuated. Some have been as high as 18% or even more. Some have been as low as 2%. In the course of history, people have continued to buy houses regardless of the interest rates because most people need to buy houses if their families are growing or they need to sell the houses if the family declines or they want to uh, downsize for any reason. Regardless of the actual interest rate, families across America choose to buy and sell based upon need and not just greed. If you're looking to make a purchase that's maybe a second home for yourself, you may wanna hold off if the interest rates are a bit higher, or in some cases, you may wanna go ahead and buy the property that you like for the place that you want, where you know you can't get another house that's very similar to that one, and continue to wait out the market, and over the years, interest rates are likely to fluctuate again. Many people will say, marry the house and date the rate. Why? Because if you purchase the property, then you can be committed to it, you can renovate it, make it what you want. And then over time, as interest rates continue to fluctuate, when they drop, you refinance that loan and then can restructure your payments for the property. Now, please do not take this as me saying, definitely buy a property regardless of the interest rates. That's not what I'm saying. You need to make sound, prudent financial decisions for yourself, which is best made with a financial planner, accountant, and other financial advisors uh, that you may have within your life. My strong suggestion to you is do what's comfortable for your payments. Find a payment that is comfortable within your range. If you're able to stretch your monthly payment a little bit, know that you probably might need to have some reserves in the bank in order to cover any overages in your monthly housing expense while you wait for interest rates to fluctuate a little bit more. My strong suggestion as well is if you're sitting on the sidelines and you do need to make a move for a growing family, don't make that hesitation simply because of interest rates as the family may need to move regardless of the interest rate of wherever it may be as it may not fluctuate or go down for a considerable period of times of months, if not years. Again, make a move that's sound with your financial planner's advice along with your own planning as well. Find a real estate agent and team that aligns with your goals and your financial plans, and then listen to their advice. If they tell you that what you're looking for within your specific interest rate with the lender that you speak to is not available in the market, then don't try to make that happen. We can't try to take our finances and fit that into the market. We can only look at the market and what it offers and look to see how that fits within our finances. Hopefully this has been helpful. If you have questions about what you can afford, what's a great sound decision to make, and what market uh, things are moving or not moving, can I buy a property in this specific area or not, go ahead and leave that in the comments. We'd love to engage with you and interact. We have real estate teams all over the country looking to help buyers and sellers. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.